In early 1840, John Marsh, Contra Costa pioneer, and over 100 other Americans were seized and thrown into the prison at Monterey. Mountain man Isaac Graham was accused of plotting a rebellion by American settlers. More alarming, Marsh's published letters describing the wonders of California had inspired hundreds of Americans to join him. John Marsh was released, but many Americans were beaten and shipped off to Mexico City. Hundreds of immigrants in Missouri returned home upon hearing this news. The few that remained formed the Bartleson Bidwell Wagon Train. They left Independence, Missouri for California in April 1840. They were the very first immigrants to attempt the now famous California Trail. On reaching the open plains, the immigrants encountered their first bisons. They passed the famous Chimney Rock landmark described in Marsh's instructions. Then they pushed on to Fort Laramie for rest and supplies. After a terrible struggle across the desert, they reached the Humboldt River. Now their wagons were starting to fall apart. Near Pilot Peak, they eventually abandoned their broken wagons and proceeded on foot. They then arrived at their final challenge, the Great Sierra Nevadas. They crossed this last barrier over the Sonora Path. An Indian sent by John Marsh brought them to his Contra Costa Rancho. Destitute, they arrived on November 4th, 1840, after nearly a six month journey. These were the first immigrants to travel the California Trail. Soon, thousands would follow. General Vallejo, Marsh's friend, issued temporary passports and the settlers scattered to find new homes. Among these first immigrants, was John Bidwell, future rancher and politician, Charles Weber, future founder of Stockton, and Nancy Kelsey, the first American woman to reach California by land. As the flow of American immigrants increased, Thomas Larkin, American consul, and John Marsh worked to bring California peacefully into the Union. California had descended into a state of near anarchy. In 1844, the Mexican government attempted to reassert its authority by appointing Manuel Mitchell Torrena, the new governor, setting off a revolt by the native Californios in 1845. At the Battle of Coenga, Governor Mitchell Torrena was defeated and expelled from California. John Marsh persuaded Americans on both sides to lay down their arms during the battle. Supporters of Mitchell Torrena, Sutter and Bidwell, were captured and jailed by the rebel Californios, thereby earning Marsh two bitter enemy. Soon after Marsh returned from the Battle of Coenga, Captain Weber and John Marsh issued the famous call to arms for foreigners. Their object was the peaceful takeover of California. Events then began spinning out of control. Under the urging of Thomas Larkin, John Marsh wrote to his old friend, Senator Lewis Cass, stressing the value and importance of California Senator Cass passed on Marsh's letters to an interested President Polk. It was then that Fremont, leading 60 riflemen and guided by Kit Carson, went on a rampage through Northern California to find Mexican authorities. Fremont urged Marsh to join him. Although friends with both Fremont and Kit Carson, Marsh was horrified. His plans for a peaceful annexation of California were being destroyed before his eyes. In retaliation, Jose Castro, California's military commander, drew up plans to expel American settlers. Fremont then commandeered Sutter's Fort, and on June 14, 1846, set in motion the Bear Flag Rebellion, an act of violence that John Marsh had worked so hard to avoid. The arrival of the Bartleson Bidwell Party showed the nation the way west, unleashing the forces that changed California. For Contra Costa, for California, and for the nation, this was truly a moment in history. <laughs>